Good morning. Hi, I am Jen Marie Pelfini of Jen Marie Cuisine, and I am a pampered chef, independent consultant, coming to you live here from Reno, Nevada. So um, I actually am not going to be able to see if this is working or not. Oh, good, I see a message. Great. Hi, Kathy. So um, I have been independent consultant since May of 20. 20, 2020. Yeah, May 2020. So it's almost three years. Wow, crazy. Um, and I started in the middle of the pandemic with a two and a half year old. Um, I'm also, I, I'm a gigster. Um, I have 27 years of marketing experience and I um, am a marketing consultant. So I'm doing this 6 a.m. in Nevada <laughs> before my daughter gets up because I have a really busy day because I love this air fryer. I'm going to talk to you about the air fryer today. I love it so much and I love Pampered Chef so much. It's literally turned my kitchen upside down in a positive way. Um, before I get started on my demo, I'm gonna do a demo on chicken wings, which is one of my favorite things to do to make for my family. I've made it probably about 20 times. It's such an easy, like slam dunk recipe to make in the, in, in the air fryer and delicious. Um, and just the simplest of ingredients. You'd be totally surprised how easy it is to make it. And I'm gonna go over that with you. But before I do that, I just wanted to just share a little bit about my story um, that, you know, I'm, I, I was a stay at home mom back in 2020 after 27 years of corporate America. And um, I was looking for something for myself. I needed like a, a revamp of Jen Marie, like 3.0. Seems like there's been a lot of revamps in my life, but this was probably the most significant for where I was in my life at the time. And I just jumped into Pampered Chef after attending a virtual party and just realized that um, my husband and I had a discussion about things I could get for the kitchen and what we could afford at the time because we were both semi-retired at the time, um, having had strong corporate careers. And I realized I wasn't able to get anything I really wanted and everything I wanted was super expensive. So I checked out Pampered Chef after um, having bought something in 2007, a pizza stone, a salad mixer, and a food chopper. By the way, I still have the food chopper and the pizza stone. There's the food chopper. And... Um, I just jumped in and I loved it. And one of the things I talk a lot about as an independent consultant is I talk about kitchen, kitchen efficiency and kitchen inventory. And it's really, Pampered Chef has changed my whole entire kitchen. There isn't much around me in this kitchen right now that isn't Pampered Chef. And the reason that is, is because the products perform better than any on the market. And I've tried them all. I've had five different blenders. I've had two different air fryers. I've had, um, different mixers. I've had all the all the things and I found that time and time again Pampered Chef does me the best service, does me the best performance and gives me the most efficiency. Um, I did a blog post earlier last year, later last year about kitchen inventory and this is a topic I talk about a lot. Is getting to know your kitchen, understanding what's in your kitchen is functionally the most important thing you can do to create a kitchen that is going to deliver efficiency to you. Now with that said, um, if you're interested in more of that, follow me. I have, a, I have a blog and YouTube videos and all that stuff too. You can look me up at Jen Marie Cuisine. That's two N's, J-E-N-N Marie Cuisine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make some wings today. We're going to do it in the Deluxe Air Fryer. Now you notice that I don't have a door in my Deluxe Air Fryer because I washed it last night and I'm just going to pop that back on. What? One of the things I absolutely love about this air fryer versus any other air fryer in the market is it's super easy to clean. In fact, it's so easy to clean, I actually do a video on this too, how to clean it, is I can lift it with one hand and I can turn it all the way around to clean it on all its sides. Now that makes a big difference when you have an air fryer because you're gonna get sometimes grease and splatter. Actually, I really, I really don't get that much grease or splatter in my air fryer. Um, and I made wings on this Saturday. But it's super easy to clean if you keep up with it and you wipe it down. But if it does get into a situation where it gets a little messy in there, you just use baking soda, water, and vinegar to clean it. You do not need to use any chemicals ever. And I highly recommend you don't use any chemicals ever in any of your kitchen stuff because baking soda and water is gonna clean 90% of it along with this little handy little brush to get into the cracks and the crevices. So. That's what I love about the air fryer. It is easy to clean. I can clean it safely. And if you'll see on my counter here, what's missing is I don't have a toaster. The air fryer has replaced the toaster in my house too. I use it to warm up things. I use it to cook things. 
Um, I use it to reheat. I use it for everything. And nine times out of 10, I don't have to use my oven, which my oven takes about 10 to 15 minutes to warm up. It's a nice oven, but it takes a while to get to temperature. What's great about the air fryer is think of this as a little convection oven on your stove, on your, on your countertop. It is gonna heat up fast. It is gonna deliver great performance. And because the space is smaller, you are gonna get no preheat time, which is amazing. Um, and it just makes a big, huge difference. When I make my air fryer, runs the gamut. I've made a pork loin roast in there. I make tri-tip in there. I made chicken in there. I made toasted ravioli in there. Um, every morning I use it. I make homemade pancakes on my deluxe electric grill and griddle and I warm them up. I make a whole stack of them for like two weeks at a time. I'm all about efficiency. Get as much done as I can in a little amount of time and have it to last. And I warm them up for about three minutes on air fry in the air fryer. Hot dogs are great. The rotisserie function's awesome. I mean, everything about this air fryer is gonna be, is gonna enable you to do more in your kitchen faster. Now I said three times I was gonna do the demo, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna start out with, oh, by the way, these kitchen chairs are amazing. Did you know they could cut through chicken bone too? Um, anyway, I'm gonna open up my package of chicken wings here. And one of the most important steps in when you're making chicken wings, which I did not know until Pamper Chef taught me, um, by the way, this handy guide has this chicken wing recipe in it. And the other thing I love about Pamper Chef is all these guides get you up and performing super quickly. You are never gonna have to stress out about, oh my gosh, I can't get that thing out of the box because I don't know how to use it. You're gonna be given step-by-step -step information um, to have successful meals on your table and fantastic recipes your family will love. Chicken wings being no, um, no difference there. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your chicken wings out and you wanna make sure that they're completely dry or as dry as you could get them. Mine have been sitting um, thawing for a bit here. I'm not gonna get all the way through the process on the chicken wings to the end, but I'll post a photo on what they look like. Like I said, I've made these so many times. Um, my family just loves them. And in fact, my husband made some over the weekend for the Cowboys Niners game, which was a sad loss for him because he is a Cowboys fan. It's kind of funny. He's from the Bay Area, but he became a Cowboys fan when he was a kid and he just never changed that. So that's where your loyalty is. I actually am a Browns fan. So I was out of the season pretty early on as usual, but that's a whole other story. So I'm just gonna dry these off and get them as dry as I can. They're pretty wet because they were thawing overnight. So I knew that they were ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put them aside here. Um, if you haven't tried our prep mats, I highly recommend them. What I love about these prep mats is that you can just get so much done on them and you can have separate prep, prep mats for separate functions. Like if you were gonna do your meat and protein on one and your veg on another and your fruits on another, and that's a great way. Um, if you are sending me messages on the live, I can't see them. I'm in contacts in this morning and I can't see that far. So I'm just gonna dig down into my demo and chat and answer your questions after if you have any. Um, like I said, you wanna make sure they're as dry as you can get them. I think we're pretty much there. So let's go ahead. And also these prep mats go in the dishwasher, which is awesome. And you could just kind of go from thing to thing using them throughout your day, which is great. Okay, so first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pat the wings dry, combine the wings, baking powder, salt and pepper, and a medium bowl. This is super easy. I'm using our, our um, batter bowl. Looks like I have a random bead in here. I have an almost five-year-old. We're having a party this weekend, so things are popping up all over my house, it seems like. Um, we're gonna do a teaspoon of salt. You would think I'd have this memorized by heart, but I'm not a recipe girl, so every time I go to do a recipe, I constantly doubt myself what it's saying. I'm more of a throw everything and see how it works out. Um, and that's kind of how I learned how to be in the kitchen. So Pamper Chef has taught me a lot about following recipes. <laughs> Um, and that's what I love because if you're not a cook and you don't feel comfortable in the kitchen, Pepper Chef is gonna make you feel really comfortable because there's so many easy things you can do in recipes that you've certainly seen here in this group, uh, a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Um, and it's gonna make you just feel even more, more successful that you'll get to the point where you'll be like, oh, I did that last time, could I do that this time? So let's go ahead and do two um, teaspoons of baking powder. Now baking powder is the secret sauce to this recipe, you guys. Baking powder is gonna give you that crunch and that sizzle to your wings. Um, like I said, this is the simplest recipe ever. 
And we're gonna go ahead and put two teaspoons. This, by the way, this is the adjustable measuring spoon. Love these, because you, you get a teaspoon and a tablespoon, and they'll take care of 90% of your functions that you need to measure. Okay, and then I'm gonna do my own little ad that my husband did this weekend. He did garlic powder and lemon pepper, but I'm gonna go ahead and do our lemon garlic um, seasoning, because this is one of my favorite seasonings. So I'm just gonna toss them in here. I'm actually not going to measure that. And just kind of guess, I guess probably like a, maybe half a teaspoon I used. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna toss our wings in. Um, I love our chef, I love our tongs. Our tongs work really great. So I'm just gonna toss my wings in here. And we are gonna mix this all around and get it coated, a coating on the wings. And then we're gonna let it sit for five minutes. And I'm gonna come a little closer and see if I can answer any your questions or whatever. I was thinking of attempting two things this morning, but I decided not to. This is something I always do. I was gonna make the onion um, um, petals, but I feel like that's too much. I need to jump on and jump off and not create world peace this morning with what I do in the kitchen. So <laughs> um, we're just gonna simply coat and make sure that all the wings are nicely coated here. Super easy. Like I said, I threw the lemon pepper in there as an extra. I mean, the gar the, um, the um, lemon garlic, which by the way, out of all my seasonings that I use on a regular basis, this is my fave. You can use it on pasta. You can use it on your vegetables. You can use it on, um, oh my gosh, so many things. So many things. I use it a lot. My daughter loves broccoli. So I use it a lot on broccoli. I use it a lot on asparagus. Um, I just love it. So I'm just making sure these are really nicely coated. And then we're gonna let them sit for five minutes. I'm just trying to use all the coating here. Get it all nicely mixed. Um, hindsight, I could have probably mixed it on the bottom before I put the chicken wings in, but it doesn't really matter because everything is getting all nicely mixed in here. And you'll see that what I love about these tongs is they pick everything up. And I got all the coating off of the bottom, so we're good there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer, which I could use my watch, whatever. I love using this timer because um, while Siri does a good job, I love that I could take this with me and I'm aware of what's happening in my kitchen. Um, and um, it has a stand, so that's great. And you can wear it on your pants, which is great. And then it just adheres to um, any surface. So we're gonna go ahead and start, go. Okay, so we're gonna let those sit. And what you're gonna notice is when they're sitting here, they're gonna start to sizzle. And that is how the code, that's how you know the coating is adhering. I don't know if you can hear it. Let me see if you can hear, if you can hear it. Can you hear the sizzle? <laughs> oh goodness, I'm really close. Let me get away. Can you hear the sizzle? Well, you'll have to trust me, it is sizzling. And um, that's really all there is to it. While, that, while those are sizzling and my timer is going, I'm gonna go ahead and take my racks out. Um, and I'm gonna um, oil my racks. Now the air fryer comes with two racks. It comes with a rotisserie basket and a, and a rotisserie holder um, for the basket. Um, but I highly recommend the, um, oh gosh, I can't remember what this is called, the um, drip tray, um, which is great for um, greasier, like liquidier kind of stuff because it's gonna catch everything. Why well, can't I remember what the name of this is called, if anyone can remember. <laughs> but it's silicone and it could go in the dishwasher which is really great it's also good like for your hot dogs and your sausages and stuff like that because that liquid whatever remaining stuff will come right here you know um and release itself on the bottom and like i said it's dishwasher safe which i love because it's silicone um because this tray here is the leave-in tray and you don't use put this in the dishwasher because it has a coating on it and you don't want that coating to come off so it's kind of more of like i like to think of it as a protectant tray for your um, air fryer, so your air fryer never gets really dirty, which mine seems never to get dirty on the bottom. And I've had this since, let me think, I think September of 2020. I was super hesitant, by the way, to get any Pampered Chef appliance because I already had a top of the line 
you know, $500 blender. I had my, I had it all figured out in my kitchen. But what I realized when I started earning a lot of these products for free or getting them for 60 or percent off or on a deal or whatever, um, most of the stuff in my kitchen, I want to say probably 85% I earned for free just by sales. Um, I realized that my products were, my appliances were not performing. Like my blender literally would sit in a corner and never be used. So when I got my new Pamper Chef blender, I was like, oh my gosh, this blender really works. It actually mixes, it actually chops, it actually blends, it actually heats, it does everything it's supposed to say, it's supposed to do. And I did a, a blender demo in this group last week because it's one of my favorite products. Um, so it was easy for me to swap out all these appliances. Every time a new one came out, I'm like, I want to try it because I need stuff that works. So by the way, this is our oil and vinegar dispenser. I love this because it measures um, teaspoons and three teaspoons um, will give you the tablespoon that you need for your oil, um, which we're gonna put in here after we um, finish with our wings settling in, which looks like another minute. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and oil my trays. I have a kitchen spritzer, but I actually like to just oil my trays with my brush because I like it. I feel it's easier to do, so that's what I do. But we do have a kitchen spritzer. Actually, mine's taken apart right now because I'm cleaning it because um, I realized it needed to be cleaned. Uh, also, another note for you guys, when you buy Pampered Chef stuff, make sure you read your use and care. It's super important that you understand how things need to be cleaned because everything sometimes has its own instruction. Like I just shared with you on the air fryer, this bottom tray doesn't go in the dishwasher but these trays can, and that tray can, and the, the bottom, um, the door, I clean um, in my sink. I don't soak it, I don't saturate it, I wipe it, and I wash water through, and then I sit it on my countertop like this, and I let it dry. And I do clean my door often. So um, that's another tip for you on the door. And I think the baking soda, um, tip is really important on cleaning your air fryer instead of using any kinds of chemicals in your air fryer. So we're almost down to downtime. So we're going to do a tablespoon of oil in our wings. And then that's it. That's it. Then I can uh, let you go. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out a tablespoon. So I'm ready to go. And I'm going to toss it in there. And we are going to go ahead and put the rings on the wet. Wing, ring, wings on the rack, wings on the rack. <laughs> okay, we're gonna turn this off and clear it out. And I'm gonna pop it back over here. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my oil in and coat the wings. And then just put them on the rack and that's it. That's how easy this is. I'll show you how the wings turn out because the wings take 30 minutes. At 15 minutes, the air fryer is gonna beep or give me a signal and I'm gonna know to flip my trays. And I'm just gonna switch my trays from top to bottom like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and lay them on the rack. To be honest, I have done all my wings on one rack before. This is a pack of 16. So you can, uh, but I don't recommend it because your wings kind of need to I mean, they're wings, they're chicken, right? They need to like stretch out a little bit. <laughs> anyway, I'm in a mood today. This is what happens when I get up five o'clock in the morning. I usually get up 6.30, so this isn't super early, but I wanted to get up and be done with this before my daughter gets up for school, because that's a whole thing. I don't know if any of you have young kids, but my daughter is almost five, and getting house, getting out of the house in the morning between the debates on what we're gonna wear and um, what we're gonna eat. Usually not what we're gonna eat, it's a matter of if we're gonna eat or not, like how long it's going to take to eat rather. <laughs> um, turn something, it should be so simple to get out of the house with into like, you know, a two hour process. So anyway, there's my wings. All I'm gonna do is put them um, in my air fryer. One rack, two racks on, gonna go to air fry. It's gonna cook it at 400 degrees. 
By the way, before I do that, let me just tell you the, um, the presets on here. So there's nine presets. I think it's nine. Maybe it's eight. Um, and they're all designed to make things easy for you. So dehydrate. I have dehydrated in here. Some people really love the dehydrate function. I've done um, fruit roll-ups in here. I've done pineapples in here. I've done apples. That's, and it's going to re dehydrate is going to be at a low, low temperature for a long duration of time. So here, for example, it's going to say 130 degrees at four hours. Okay. For reheat, oh my gosh, if you have pizza in your house, next day pizza is no better than reheated in the air fryer. It is amazing. It's going to reheat anything 300 degrees for five minutes. Things I've reheated in here. Oh my gosh, I make homemade cinnamon rolls for Christmas and Thanksgiving. We've reheated those in there. Reheating pizza, reheating our, um, our um, restaurant food leftover sometimes. That's a debate. Either I'll do it in the air fryer or I'll do reheated food in a micro cooker in the microwave. Depends on what it is. If I want that crispiness, like my chimichanga yesterday was left over from, two, from a day ago, I put it in reheat for five minutes. Rotisserie is going to give you that rotisserie motion. So it's going to be for your whole chickens, your pork loins, your hot dogs, if you have kids, um, uh, um, skewers like kebabs, things like that. Um, roast, oh my gosh, it's going to give you the most moist result. I do my tri-tip on here and I do like my asparagus on here. It gives it a really nice temperature of 375 degrees and the amount of time that it cooks evenly all around it, think convection oven, even heat all around. Bake, okay, I have baked cookies in here. I do this all the time. I get cookies and I make them here. I get the frozen cookies. I make my own homemade cookies a lot, but I do do frozen cookies and when I do them, it takes about 15 minutes in the um, in the air fryer. Super easy to do uh, on Bake at 350. And then of course air fry, which is what we're doing for these wings. Um, at 400 for 30 minutes. Okay guys, well, like I said, I was gonna do another demo, but I won't because I've taken up enough of your time today. I hope you enjoyed that demo and you got a really good idea about how this air fryer could be used in your kitchen. Um, this morning, I'll be using it to warm up our pancakes, and um, also I make sausage in here. Oh my gosh, if you love like sausage and hot dogs and stuff like that, I just love the results you get from the air fryer. You just get such juicy um, and crisp results at the same time. So I'm in love with this thing. I don't know what I would do it without my do with it do how I would do without it in my kitchen. Um, I haven't had coffee today either yet today because it's such a functional part of my kitchen. Like, you know, we got rid of our toaster. I'm so happy. Um, the results I get are better. I can do more with it. This thing is going all day long for different reasons. My husband's used, my husband, my husband's, my husband <laughs> uses it to reheat everything. I use it to cook and reheat. Um, and someday my daughter will use it too and I'll feel perfectly safe with her doing it because it's just so easy to use. Actually, I have caught her pushing buttons and trying things out. So um, my daughter is gonna be five on Saturday and she's super functional in the kitchen because she's kind of been raised um, at a young age with experimentation and, and a lot of really funny go lives in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, when I first started, that's why this is such a great gig for stay at home moms. Um, when I first started, she would just like interrupt me in the middle and start presenting in the middle of a conversation and just, um, I don't know how I did it. Cause when you're a stay at home mom with a young kid, you're sort of in this mode of just getting through things. And I look back at these videos now and she'd be having her own little side show while I'd be doing the real show. And I'm sure nine times out of 10 people were paying more attention to her because she was so entertaining. So um, I love that I have this kind of a business to show my daughter um, as a mom that she can do anything and that she doesn't have to fit into what the world thinks she needs to be. She can kind of create her own path. And as, um, as an older mom, that's something that I've certainly done outside of my corporate career is I've figured out a way to carve my own path. Pampered Chef has been a big part of that journey and something that I'm super proud of. I love everything about Pampered Chef. I love the company. I love the reward system. I love the things I've earned. I love everything in my kitchen because it has just made a difference. And as my husband said, I says, you know, we love her doing Pampered Chef because we get to eat the results all the time. And 
It's not about being perfect, you guys. It's about getting food on the table in an efficient way that your family loves. It's about swapping things out for things that you like. It's about creating joy in your kitchen. My mission is to bring joy into your kitchen. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Jen Marie of Jen Marie, um, of Jen Marie Cuisine. Follow me if you like. Um, I'm happy to share any of my experiences with Pamper Chef with you. And I truly believe that everyone together, we can create so many more amazing experiences in our kitchen and turn a place of sometimes often frustration and stress into an efficient machine by, um, by really just um, you know managing it and figuring out how to make it work for you. Have a great day, guys. I'll let you know when the wings are done. Bye.